Sony time and I'm back with some more Sims for you. Okay, so I actually just got invited out to lunch and I'm very hungry. So <laughs> really quickly, I'm just gonna read through this uh, card that popped up. Um, then I'm gonna go get food and then I will be back. So, welcome to The Sims 4 Werewolves. I have been excited for this update. I actually pre-ordered it, got it on the day it dropped this past Thursday, got home, but work kept us until 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> and so I was literally at work for over 12 hours. It's ridiculous. And so I was there, didn't get home till late. And by the time I was going to record, I was just so exhausted. And then yesterday was Friday. I wanted to record, but Thursday was my friend's birthday. So then Friday, we had a girls' night on Skype or whatever. So yeah, anyway, you don't care. Okay, so let's talk about this. And so I did do my last video, was on The Sims 4, um, or not the last one. I think the last one was actually on the high school pack. But I did talk about the werewolf uh, pack when it got released on the official sims websites and how I was really excited for it and I am still really excited for it and I did not spoil it for myself I've like seen a few build and buy objects but honestly because I didn't want to spoil it it was like a very quick flash pass like I did not really look and then I did see a few Kaz items but honestly again all a blur because I was really trying not to spoil it but Twitter it won't stop trying to spoil it for me so yeah I had to finally come on here and record welcome to the sims for werewolves life on the wild side what big teeth you'll have transform into a werewolf and embrace or fight your animalistic nature all right werewolf sims will have unique temperaments and abilities as they experience wolf specific life events I also saw uh, um, a poll on somebody's Twitter thread and they were asking like people what their favorite supernatural form is currently or like what their favorite form is or whatever that they think has the most I guess stuff in the sims and everybody was loving werewolves so I thought that was really cool and I've heard a lot of good things about it so far all right alpha or lone wolf craft your werewolf identity were you bitten or were you born into it decide what kind of wolf you want to be find a pack or prowl the night with with or shun all that and try to make it as a lone wolf very interesting Lycanthrope lore, you'll have to learn a lot about werewolves, unravel werewolf, vampire, and spellcaster lore as you read books, discover secret tunnels, and interact with denizens of, denizens of Moonwood Mill. So I do know that we got moon phases in one of the last updates, I believe, one of the latest updates, and they said it affects all the occult sims, so I'm very interested. Also, I noticed that they didn't put mermaids or aliens in that, and I'm assuming it doesn't matter, but also mermaids are tied to water water's tied to the moon so i feel like mermaids should also be affected by the moon is that just me is that just me i don't know okay so let's just quickly look at these pictures i think we've seen most of them yeah we've seen all of these pictures in um either the trailer or the original uh web page that sim showed us so i'm not even gonna waste my time on this because i already talked about all these pictures but i'm gonna actually restart my game because i just saw it needs an update and then i will be back and y'all will see what we got in Cavs, and then we'll do uh the town and then build and buy and then i'm gonna get into gameplay all right so we are here now with uh the new world moonwood mill and this looks so cool oh my gosh that was such a cool animation I, it was like a claw i don't know why i looked at it and thought it was a shark fin that's beside the point that is very cool i really really like that and i know i did see something about um like car tires so somebody was asking is this like a hint to getting cars and I highly doubt it but all right so this looks really really cool let's see Moonwood Mill world description once upon a time Moonwood, Moonwood Mill was filled with the bustle and sound of the nearby lumber mill today the town is transformed the rusted shells of its former industry provide cover for a handful of mysterious denizens who've sought out this wilderness shrouded community basking in its remote and anonymous nature that is a sentence good lord commas okay <laughs> it's a place with a hidden history and those who live here know that if you dig deep enough you're bound to discover some fascinating secrets all right so they have a neutral footprint which actually I thought would actually kind of be higher because it said it's in the um in the middle of the city or whatever but okay so here we have the Volkov family and the Volkov family let's see Christopher Volkov has been around longer than most can remember he founded and leads the Moonwood Collective and is eager to take an any werewolf feeling dis displaced or lost and I do remember when I was reading the original thing about this town that everybody is a werewolf except for like one person so I, I don't know who that is I, I don't know if that's the Volkov person or not 
All right. Lily joined the household long ago, a lonely wanderer who had lost her closest friends to the vampires. Ah. Okay, so wait, who's Lily? Okay, so... Oh, okay, so this is Christopher. This is Jacob. And this is Lily. Oh, so Lily must be the human and these two are werewolves. Okay. Um, after her came Rory, then Jacob. Though Rory's relationship with her adoptive father has soured. Jacob and Christopher's connection has flourished. Wait, what? Though Rory's relationship and her adopt with her adoptive father has soured, Jacob and Christopher's connection has flourished. Ah, got it. Okay. Bear the same calm. Both bear the same calm, yet intense soul. And everyone in Moo and Mill knows that Christopher intends for Jacob to be the heir to his pack. So this is Jacob. Right? Oh my God, what is this? Werewolf initiate. That is so cute. I gotta go through these. Oh my God. And that, I love that hair, by the way. I didn't know this was a teenage sim. I thought this was an adult, but that's a teenager. Um, the sim wants to unleash his inner beast and become a werewolf. That is so cute. I love that. And then, um, okay. So these are some cute traits. I really like that. Here we have the new moon shack. It is a 20 by 15 lot. Um, the Volkov family lives on a 40 by 30 lot. The Moonwood Mill Library is a 40 by 30 lot. The Prowler's Patch, a 30 by 30 lot. And then Grimtooth Bar and Bunker, a 50 by 40 lot. So those are all of our worlds. Let's just quickly go look at what the bar and the library say. So the bar says this little home may not seem like much for, for the Sim who's looking for some solitude and fresh air. Living here could be quite transformative. So you can actually live here? Well, well maybe you can live here, but it's also as a bar. I don't know. Um, and then over here, we have the library. Moonwood Mills community has repurposed an old lodging factory into their very own local library. It's open and airy structure make it the perfect location to curl up with a book or catch a view of the night sky. And out back, the wild fangs have dragged out o have dragged old workout equipment into the former loading dock for a handy makeshift gym. This is going to be very interesting to play. I can already tell. All right, so let me go back up here to Willow Creek because y'all know I love Willow Creek's lighting. We're going to go back up here to Willow Creek. We're just going to grab a random house. All right, so this is our character that we are going to be um, playing with. I'm kind of sad we didn't get a new walk. Like, we got the creepy walk with vampires. I wish we would have got something with um, werewolves, but I guess not. Okay, so, oh, okay, so here is, wow, they get their own. So you guys know how knowledge, right? We got like a bunch of vampire stuff and, and spellcast stuff and knowledge. Werewolf has its own category, which is interesting. So bonus trait, is that a dog on a, oh wait, that was a thumbs up, wow. I was like, what is that picture, y'all? I need to get eye surgery. I truly looked at that thumbs up and said, is that a dog on its back with its legs up in the air? I had no clue what was happening in that picture. <laughs> Okay, so this Sim wants to um, unleash what we already just read, right? Unleash their inner werewolf, become um, a werewolf. Cool. Luna confident. These Sims get an initial relationship boost when introducing themselves to werewolves, positive or negative, depending on how they act. Huh. Okay. Okay, so I just went through the likes, dislikes. There are no new likes and dislikes. Let's quickly go to the body because, oh, that's what I was going to check. I was going to say, somebody told me we got new tattoos. So let me see what these new tattoos look like. Okay, so we got some on the hands. It looks like it comes even on the, oh, is it just on the outside of the palm? All right, so it's just, oh, no, it is on the inside. Looks like she fell into the dirt, right? And like she might have like scraped herself up a little bit. Maybe it's supposed to be bruising after a fight. I don't know. And then we got this one. This is a cool looking tattoo. Oh, this is the, the moon one that I was saying looked really pretty. I think it was on Jacob or something. And I was like, that is gorgeous. I love this. This is so cool. I wish it would stop removing her. I want to see it from this angle. Like, I don't like that angle. But that is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Ooh, that one is nice. These are very cool. I think that this would be a very popular one amongst the spell casters. Like, that is gorgeous. Okay, and then, oh, and I love the little little uh, circle here. Okay, so you know what else I need to actually look at? Oh, before I meant to come, before I even came on here, I actually meant to go take a picture of all the stuff that we got in the pack. With, with, with trying not to spoil it for myself, but I also need to take pictures because, like I said, I always miss something, so I was hoping to not miss anything. That is very cool. Okay, so fun fact, I love um, the moon, right? I love the moon. The moon is so cool to me. And I, also, my favorite animal is a wolf. So, like, this pack is... I'm living for it. I'm living for this pack so far. These are the most pretty colors. Oh, my God. So, I like how we got some, like, out there colors and then we got some natural colors. I really like that. That is 
cool. I am living for this. I, and I'm so happy to get new. I'm so happy to get new tattoos. Y'all know I love tattoos. Like, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Like, so cool. Okay, so body scarves. We got a new item. Oh, I love it. Okay, okay, wait. I'm gonna have to get rid of her tattoos. I need to get rid of your tattoos for a second so I can just see, like, what we're working with. So we got body scarves. Do they come in different colors? Okay, so no, it doesn't like they come in different colors. But there are different kind of scars. Okay. Okay. So those look like puncture wounds, like something that bit you. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of looks like something bit you, right? Okay. And then we got, so that's like a one across, one across. And then it comes on each side. So you have lots of different things to choose from. Ooh, those look painful. That looks painful, y'all. Okay, let's see. I'm going to also X out of these because we already saw these, right? Um, do, 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 that, again, looks painful. I'm also not going to say what it, it is kind of giving me. Um, it's making me think of roots. If you know, you know. Anyway, okay. So let's go up to her face. Let's go up to her face. And she actually looks very pretty bald. Oh, do we have anything new with the face? Oh, do we get new skin? Not skin details. Not skin details. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to know if we got new fangs or anything. We don't get new fangs? Okay. So we got cheek scars, which I feel like we've already had these, or am I just going nuts? Like, I feel like we got some of these with vampires, or maybe they're just very similar to the ones we already have. I don't know. So this one over here. We got one on the side of her face, on her eye, on her face again. Okay, okay. And then we get eye scars. So you just saw that one go down. And then we get that big one. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay. And I think that's it. Okay, so that is all her scars. I'm going to get rid of those for a second. And we're going to go to her hair now. I'm very curious to see what this hair looks like. All right, so let's see. Where are we looking? Werewolves. Boom. Wow, okay, wait, we got a lot of hairs. Hold up. Oh, that is pretty. I like that. I like that braid. That's gorgeous. Okay. And then we got different colors. So we got different colors. Oh, and you see the little um thing down here changes color. Right? Oh, she looks really nice in that brown hair color. That is gorgeous. Okay, I like this. I like this. Wait a second. This is kind of cute. This is like the cutest little mullet ever. She's adorable. Aww. I like this. And you know what? The character I told y'all about, Lana, like, she'd put, be able to pull this off. This looks really cool. And I like, oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that she had one in front. Like, I did not notice that in the dark hair, but in the light hair, you can totally see it. That is very nice. Okay. And then we get one... Oh, it's like a undercut. That is different. And honestly, I haven't seen an undercut hairstyle for The Sims in a long time. Like, I feel like since base game. So the fact that we got a new undercut style is very nice, especially for my Sims who are more tomboyish. And I like giving them like that undercut style. I usually used to give them all that same one high bun at the top. You guys know the one that comes. I think it came with, um, with just the regular pack with like the default Sims pack. And yeah, like now they have another one. And also again, the hair tie changes color. This one, this one I was very excited for. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. She looks so pretty. And I like how the beads all change colors, but they're all cohesive. And I feel like some of these are probably gonna have some ones that are not cohesive, which is totally fine. I'm loving the braids in the back and the front. Those are so pretty. Oh my gosh, yes. And I could totally see uh, simmers who make mermaids and stuff using this hair for their mermaids because you can totally do these hairstyles underwater. Oh my gosh, that hair. This hair. This hair I love. This I need this hair in... in um, somebody needs to take out all the beads and just leave the hairstyle as is. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. Oh my God, yes. So y'all remember when I fangirled over the slinky dress and the swing set and little campers and uh, date night chic or whatever it was? That is now me again, but with this hair. I love this. I love this. This is so pretty. Oh my God. Okay. 
And then, ooh, what is this? Oh, it's like layers. So they did a lot of layers for this um <laughs> for this pack. I see it, like this pack is very grunge. Very grunge, very um I'm getting 80s feel from it. I like it though. I like it. Ooh, this is pretty. This is so gorgeous. And I again we love new hairstyles, especially hairstyles with bangs on so many Sims look nice to me. It might just be my opinion, but they look nice to me. All right, so this is similar. Oh, oh, that is different. <laughs> this is similar to the first hair I showed you guys, but it's just um, with two tones or three tones. I don't even know. So yeah, so you can see the color down here, the band changing, the actual hair. This looks like, what does this look like? Oh my gosh, what is that one character from Demon Slayer? I cannot think of his name. The fire, the fire dude. That's who this looks like. I need to catch up on Demon Slayer, but that's who that looks like. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That's nice. I like that. That looks like a phoenix. That looks like a sports team. This one looks like cotton candy. I don't know what that looks like, a raven or something. These are some very cool colors, very interesting color combos. I'm not upset though with them. Like they look very cool. That one's pretty, that like all pink. And I just noticed it's like even colored underneath. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like underneath this is like blue and then there's gray on top. So yeah, that's very interesting. Okay. And then you have this style. So we get that same again hair, the undercut hair just with, um, different colors so I'm trying to see what's a good angle I guess this angle will be all right because you can see the bow and you can see the undercut and then you can also see the different colors in the swoop so here you go oh that one's nice and different what was this one the green it's like green and gray and blonde that's interesting okay and so just going through some more colors that one looks like Christmas where did it go oh okay it's kind of pinkish so not so much Christmas but it kind of reminds me of Christmas this one over here, ooh, that's kind of cool. And then again, another one and another one and last one. All right, and then what do we have here? <gasps> ooh, that is different. Okay, 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 I like this one. And it's like hidden because when they put the hair down, <gasps> yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm living for this, I'm living for this. That is so cool. So I'm thinking this is all the same exact colors that I showed you guys earlier with the same hairstyle that it just again has the, the thing in the back, right? Boom. Okay. Rejected phone call. Oops. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that is pretty. It's like blue on this side. I don't know if you guys, if it's picking up, but that is a pretty hairstyle. I really like this. I really like this. Okay. Yes. And it's doing it again. I don't know if it's my lighting in the room or if it's actually picking up on camera. And I'm hoping it's picking up on camera. But yeah. No, this is very, very nice. I like this. All right, accessories. I feel like we got some, a decent amount of accessories. Tell me we got a decent amount of accessories, please. Okay, so we got a new nose ring, which I've been noticing. They've been like upping a lot of the nose rings and stuff lately, which is interesting. This one, it looks like a moon kind of, right? And maybe it's just the way her nose is shaped, but it looks weird on her. But I feel like if you change her nose shape, it might look a little bit different. And again, you get it on the other side. We don't need to go through the colors. I'm going to take this off for a second. I need to give you shorter hair so we can just see the rest of what you got on. Oh, so this is like a double piercing, which I have been asking. I've been asking for more double pierced earrings for the longest saying like we don't have enough so i'm really glad we got a new pair i i wish they came in like just plain like we don't have just plain so you see there's the paw ones right and then they're like ones with words i guess and i don't know if it's supposed to say something specific to like sims or what is that is that the llama i'm, I'm thinking that's the money llama that's funny and then it looks like we get a oh no it's not a matching necklace it's not a matching necklace what is this okay so we have a paw I think that's a tree. Is that a tree? And then we get llama money necklace, another paw. Okay. These are kind of cool. I don't know what they're supposed to be though. Huh. And then this one I like. This one is very nice. Oh, so it has a little clasp in the back. Same thing with that one. But yeah, little clasp in the back. Okay. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one, the black and the pink. Black and the pink is very pretty. The black and like the rose goldish. I like that. Okay. And then 
we have I don't think we have any new makeup. I highly doubt it because we got a bunch of face scars and stuff. So yeah. Okay. Nothing here. Let's go to the body. And then I will also show you guys the werewolf stuff in a second. But let's go through the body. And I heard we got a lot of new uh, clothes for women in this pack. So everybody's been talking about how like they've been overwhelmed. So I'm very curious. Oh, really? We only got, okay, wait, we got like six things and they all look like full body. Oh, was I in full body? I thought I was in shirts. Oops. Okay. Well, I'll show you the full body first then I guess. <laughs> okay. So this is uh one outfit. Looks like the patchwork thing that we kind of saw on her or on the, like all the promotional stuff. Right. So, oh, those are cool pants. I wish these pants were separate. I hope they're separate. Please tell me we got those pants in like a separate thing where you can just wear them by yourself because those are kind of cool. All right. And then over here, and I really hope y'all can't hear the stuff in the background because there's a lot of things going on in my background, but I had to record. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. She looks like she was like in the forest or something picking up stuff. I love this. It's like a herbalist outfit. This would go so cute on Eve, my little um, my little agricultural baby girl that I talk about in my original story when I showed you guys my original characters. Like she would love this outfit where she can just have a little pouch on her to like wear <laughs> and collect things. I love that. Ooh, that white one is pretty. Ooh, the black one's pretty. Okay, this one screams to me college student. I love this. This is totally a teenager, a college student who's just like, I'm going to class and I'm going home. <laughs> I would wear this, honestly. I would wear this um, t-shirt dress in a heartbeat and truly put something around it. Give yourself a little waistline. Come on, you gotta do your fashion, do your fashion. But no, this is very pretty. I like this. And I also just noticed that it has like details on the sleeves even to where it's like coming off. So that's interesting. All right. And then this one, this is the one I was looking for in forward to in the um, promotional stuff. I don't like this one little patch on the elbow, but this is very pretty. It's still very pretty. I can make it work. Trust me, I will make something work if I want, if I want it bad enough. This is gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh, I just noticed a little wolf on it. Wait, were all them little wolves? That was a flower. That was flower. Okay, so this one's a little wolf. That is so cute. Okay, this one, I like I like this patchwork. Like how it's the wolf and then it had the one patch on the back. I knew it. I knew the pale colors would look nice with this, like just the solid colors. Okay. I like this. It's cute. I don't know which one of my Sims would ever wear this. Like they would probably wear something like this. I'd probably put more of this on them. It's more neutral and doesn't have like the so out there flower design or the werewolf design. This one's nice too, the black. I like that black one. And then we have a pinky. <gasps> These are so cute. I love it. <gasps> oh, okay. Who is now on the Sims team doing fashion? Because like, we need to just talk for like five minutes. Like just five minutes. That's all I need. They are doing the damn thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, those pants are so cute again. Oh, I'm just thinking of characters I want to redress. I just redid all my character outfits, but now I feel like I have to do them again. Oh, and it just became winter in my game. And this pack would go perfect with it. Yes. Yes. You know what? Actually, hold up. Wait, I got you. I just need to go check real quick. Do we have? Okay, yes, we do have new stuff in winter. Oh. Y'all don't know the struggle to give your Sims cute winter stuff that's actually functional that they do not freeze to death in. Like, <laughs> I'm so glad they got new winter stuff. So happy. Ooh, this is pretty. A lot of this is giving me cottage living vibes. I don't know if it's, if it's like just me. Is it giving anybody else cottage, I want to keep saying college living, cottage living vibes? Like, I am getting those vibes with this. All right, and again, we get some more random things, more random. Ooh, that one's cute, that pink. I'm loving this, yes. And then we got one in black. Okay, and what I was trying to show you guys was the tops. I don't know how it got kicked out and down to um to full body, but here we are. Okay, so these are the tops that I was talking about. Ooh, okay, that's a different type of top. 
and then we have this kind and I feel like there might be something on these backs so I'm just gonna like keep spinning her because I keep feeling like okay so wait this one oh no it's black I was gonna say why did the shirt get shorter at the bottom but it wasn't it was just a different color okay so we got this one. Ooh, wow she spun very fast on me <laughs> okay Ooh, that one I like that pink I like that pink a lot okay and then we got a black one and then we got this t-shirt are those safety pins? I remember that style. That is like early 2000s style. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm getting flashbacks. And I don't know if they're good. <laughs> oh, that one's cute. I like that. That would be, I hope they have that shirt, the one I just showed you guys, in um, a kid shirt. That would be a very nice kid shirt. Ooh, what's this one? Okay, okay. I feel like this is like a band or something and on the back is like telling you the towns that they're going to visit for their show. Like that's what this one's giving me the vibes of. Ooh, what's this one? This one's cute too. This one is very cute. I don't know why the werewolf looks so demented, but <laughs> with that giant eye, but like it's kind of cute. Oh, I got hiccups now. I'm hoping you guys can't hear those because I do not want to stop recording because I just want to get this out. Like this has been so long awaited. I've been wanting to play my game and I have not been playing it because I didn't want to lose all the like new tags and stuff for werewolf, um, for, for the werewolves pack as soon as I played. This one's pretty, I like that. And the dog on top kind of looks like a Shiba Inu because of the ears. This is adorable, oh my gosh. I could see like a vet sim wearing that. That'd be very cute. All right, over here we got some more. They, they just, what is that on the back? What in the world did they stitch it up that's like such a small little detail it's like rope and then it goes all the way down and it ropes through the other side that's such a small detail that looks so cool on like actually in game like that is nice i like that and i would have never thought of that like ooh. oh okay this one because <laughs> it is thrilling thrilling <laughs> okay this one is also another werewolf one. Okay. Ooh, what is this one? What is that? I can't, I don't know what this is, but this is cute. I know that. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. <laughs> All right. So this one and then that one, and then I'm just going to kind of turn it to this. Oh, it's two different stitching colors. I just noticed that like that one has two different brown stitches. I think that might've been the only one like that. Yeah, that one had two different brown stitches. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but I noticed it. So, again, two different brown stitches. Again. Okay, so what's this one? Oh, there's a lot happening on the back there. Oh wait, is it like mesh? I just noticed that. It's mesh. <gasps> that is so cool. It's mesh through the back and then it's like a tank top underneath it. I like that. Wait a second, I like that. I was looking at this shirt like, why is it so ugly? And then I realized what it was and I'm like, wait a second, that's kind of cool. <gasps> I like that a lot. Wait a second. I was talking smack. I mean, it's still not the cutest thing, but like if it was a different top underneath, maybe I would like it more, but that is kind of cool. I kind of like that. All right. These are the tops. These are the ones that I was looking at. I was like, yes. And I actually thought this was a full body outfit. I did not realize that this was just a plain old top. Ooh, that one's different. Okay. Ooh, I like that blue one. I like that blue a lot. Okay. Somebody got chased down in the in the forest by a werewolf. And it looks like you might have actually won if you got away. So, ooh, okay, nice. I like that a lot. And then we got this one. Ooh, I don't know what this is. It looks like a Boy Scout type of jacket situation. Not the biggest fan of this one. Um, are all the patches different? I was trying to see if all the patches were different on the back. It does look like some of them, like this one, I think. Yeah, had like writing on the back of it. 
not all of them do so they are still kind of different not the biggest fan of this one <laughs> i'm just being honest <laughs> check i forgot to check the traits let me go do that i knew there was something i was forgetting and i could not think of what it was so i'm gonna just edit that in very quickly oh you didn't get any new traits huh really all right so here are our new pants and i'm just gonna strip off our jacket for a minute because like i need to see what these pants look like without being interrupted by the shirt so ooh, these are different again it's like cross stitch type situation with leggings underneath or something okay oh wow no that's a lot of color going on <laughs> um these are interesting oh these are really interesting oh yes wait i kind of like these i don't know why but i kind of like these it looks like a pajama pant on this side and then it looks like you had one type of jean under another type of jean and you just stitched them together i kind of am living for this why do i like these why do i like these i have no clue I like those though. Um, okay, these look like those one pair of black pants. Which pack did we get them with? They're guy pants and they have this knee thing, but it's just in the front. And I wanna say it's actually in the same material. And if it's not in the same material, we do have a pair of pants that is almost the same exact material, even with down to the button. Like the button is that type of shiny thing. So this is pretty much like a remake of some other packs. This is a different skirt. I hope we have it in just a plain blue with those patches on it. That might look nice. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the plaid one. And I don't really like the bright color ones. But like this one, this is just regular blue. That's nice. This one is regular blue. That's decent. Okay. And then we have another one which is green okay and then we have these shorts w wow what what happened back here what happened <laughs> it's like they just said yeah the button didn't work so we're just gonna tie a string in the back and hold them up <laughs> okay these are kind of different again i kind of like them there's a lot going on um wow yes that's a lot that's a lot going on in the back and then ooh. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Wait a second. I like this one a lot because I like the jacket. The jacket adds an extra detail. That is very nice. And I like the little fuzzy arm things. I wish those fuzzy arm things were on one of the tops we would have got. That would have been so cute. Oh my God, that would have been so cute. I'm so mad we don't have that now. Oh, why did you just give me hope of something? <laughs> okay. And then these are some more pans of they got shredded to the bone when you were fighting for your life, right? And I don't know how you made it through the fours with your clean jeans. <laughs> like, I feel like those first pair were the most realistic because they were just torn to shreds, stained to hell. Like, yes. Okay. And then we have, I did full body, I did that. Accessories, let's do some accessories. Boom. Do we have any other accessory? Let's see. Werewolves. Oh, we do, we have a lot of accessories. Wow, okay. So let's see, we have this one. It's a bracelet, comes in different colors again. Oh, I kind of like this. I kind of really like this. Why do I like this so much? Wait a second. <laughs> okay. I like that one, I think. And then we also have, are these bandages? Like ace bandages type thing? It looks like it, right? Yeah, it looks like the ace bandage type thing that we have kind of with um that one mummy wrist bandage i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about i forget what it even came with but that's what this is kind of reminding me of so we get it on two different arms right oh it looks like you can only have one at a time okay so i'm guessing this is the one that you get when you get bitten by a werewolf and so i guess it can only go on one hand at a time and then you have can you see the ring under that okay yes then you have this moon ring which i'm living for that is so pretty and it looks like Sims got with the times because like this is actually in right now in fashion. And then you have another moon ring with it looks like a little gemstone next to it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. And then what is this one? This is the butterfly one, which I still want to know what, what does the butterfly mean? I feel like the butterfly means something and I don't know what. 
Um, we got some new leggings, so let's go through those. Ooh, I like how high waisted they are. And I, and and put them in black, and a grunge girl would definitely wear the hell out of these. <laughs> okay, and so we have different colors. I love different colors. Ooh, those were Harley Quinn types. Oh, I like those. I like those too. These would be very cute to sleep in. Doesn't look like we get any new toenails, no new toenail colors. And then you also get some new shoes. So here are our new shoes, werewolves. And we have sneakers. Ooh, those are kind of cool. I like those. I like those sneakers with the little thing on the side. Ooh, I like those plaid sneakers. Okay, so I'm really glad actually that we got new Converse's because I love my teenage sim to wear teenage sims to wear Converse. And like these are so nice. Ooh, those are nice. Oh my god, these remind me of like old school Converse that people used to like hand paint. So I like this. I like this a lot, and I could totally see a artistic sim like drawing on their own shoes i'm very glad we also got these boots the, um like they kind of remind me of the shiny boots that we got in the moschino pack and so i'm glad that we got them in a regular pack and that they come in different colors because i love my guy sims especially to wear those what happened here <laughs> i feel like this is when they transform and their feet become really big <laughs> so that's funny okay and then let's see we did all that stuff we did full body Let's go to style looks. So I think we got, oh, we got three. We got four. We got five. Okay, so we got five new outfits. Not so fresh duds. So you get this one, right? You get the black. You get the blue. You get, um, I almost said pink. Wow, yellow and gray. Red, and they come with socks too. That's nice. Thank you for throwing in the socks fanged and wild okay so you get this one you get another color a white one a brown and green and a purple purple is my color but i would still not wear this collectively cozy now that's a way to put it um get this blue one i'm getting sleepy i think it's just because we just ate <laughs> like i literally just came back from food and like now i'm getting tired because i'm sitting here <laughs> <laughs> um ripped rebel let's see this one. Oh yes those leggings with that dress yes i like that i like that i live for that that is so cool all right and then you get this oh that's different with the purple and the and the black oh that one's really cute i actually like that okay and then you get autumn coffee date that is so specific <laughs> an autumn coffee date okay and so you get this one which is interesting, they paired this top with a skirt. I would definitely put that with pants. Like I feel like it does not give it her body any shape. I know she's a sim, but still. <laughs> okay, so we got her together, right? Let me just go really quickly and check. Do we get anything new for the kids? Of course we get nothing new. Why am I even checking? Okay, we do get a new top. So we got this new top for little girls. Okay. We got a new top and oh that one's kind of nice I kind of like that pink and blue one all right okay okay and then we also get this new top oh what is that is that little red riding hood and the big bad wolf and then what is this up here oh it's a bird oh very nice I just noticed Re little red riding hood she's um different skin colors in each picture that's really cool Oh, wait, did they even change the wolf? The wolf here looked darker. Oh, wait, no. They're the same type of wolf. But I like that. I like that it's um a different color Little Red Riding Hoods. Like, if you don't want her to just be the standard Little Red Riding Hood from, like, the books, and you can make her a little girl of color. That's interesting. I like that. I actually really do like that. That's very cute. Okay. And then you get some new pants as well. Let me take off her. Oh, we don't get any full body. But, okay, so here's the pants. That, oh, these are so cute. Oh, my God, he's a little teal. <gasps> that is adorable. I remember those. Well, not these. But, like, I remember. And people used to put them on the back of their jeans in, like, 7th and 8th grade. And the ones that, obviously, 
we had and they had as kids back then were probably fake. A new, oh, we got a new hat. Okay, we love new hats. That is so cool. What is this hairstyle she has on? I need to go look at that one. This is very cute. I like this. Oh, the little kid stuff just made me happy. The little kid stuff just made me so happy. Yes. Oh, this is adorable. I love this. Oh, okay. So I'm going to finish up. I'm going to get the toddlers together. Then I'm going to look up the guys. We know the guys are going to be like five seconds because guys don't ever get anything. Um, <laughs> But... Yeah, so it looks like we get all the same, let me take off your hat. We get all the same hairstyles and everything that we got with adults, with kids, even down to these colored hairs, which I'm actually surprised they gave us because they rarely ever give us colored hairs for kids. So that's interesting. Okay, and then we're gonna go look at your full outfit, Wolfie Explorer. Oh, she looks adorable. Oh my God, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Oh my God. Okay. And then we're going to go check out toddlers. I doubt we got anything for toddlers. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't really holding my breath. <gasps> oh, wait. We got stuff. We got stuff. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <gasps> that is so cute. That is so cute. I need shorter hair. I need shorter hair for her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is so cool. I like that a lot. Oh, that is adorable. Wait a second. I can't. Oh. My heart, my heart. Those little paws on her arms. Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. I want to, I want to, I want to just squeeze her cheeks. I want to squeeze her cheeks. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Okay, wait, I love this. I love this and now I want my sim to have another toddler. All my sims have like kids and teenagers at this point because I got tired of taking care of babies. I now want them to have another another toddler just so I can dress them in this cute stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, little baby. Little baby, I want to rock the baby ballet. Oh my God, oh God. Ooh, I like that one. I like the tie-dye one. That's very cute. And I love the little tails. Look at the little stubby tails. <laughs> Ooh, like a galactic puppy wolf thing <laughs> big bad wolf that is adorable and then another one i love that okay and then i don't think we got anything like i said nothing 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 do we get any style looks yes we do get one style look we get a precious pup adorable and i love it with the shoes yes i completely forgot we had these shoes but those shoes go perfect with that do they give us the hat like they gave us for the kid no okay all right, so let's see. We're going to change her to a boy really quickly. And so I changed her to a boy. Do we get anything new for the boys? We just get the precious pup. We've already seen that. Nothing, nothing. Nothing up here. I'm going to change you to a boy as well for a teenager. I don't think we got any new guy hairs, but let's see. Oh, uh, where is... Okay, so we've already seen all these hairs. Um... We've already seen the hat. We don't get any new accessories. We've seen both shirts, no full body, nothing new, nothing new. Style looks the one. Okay, so let's go now to boy adult. Was that, is that teenager? No, this is an adult. His voice is just very low <laughs> or very high, I should say, actually. Okay, so again, we get the same hairstyles. We do not need to go through these. We already went through them. Don't know if we saw this one, so let me just show you guys this one real quick. Now that I'm looking at it, is they literally just went through and made every single thing pretty much unisex which i'm completely fine with but like good lord the guys don't ever get nothing so that is completely the cas and i already showed you guys the world so next up is building by so far um let me double check my my phone because i actually took a picture this time of how much i spent on the game it's 21 dollars 71 cents for this pack so far do i think it was worth 20 dollars Eh, honestly the Kaz, it's cute, but like, at least the pieces that I said were cute. I think this could have been a $5 pack so far. Uh, let me go check out the building pie.
and then I also obviously have to do the gameplay and I, everybody keeps telling me the gameplay is where the game shines so I do have to give it that chance but as of right now I am kind of wishing this was a five dollar kit because at this very moment I'm not that impressed okay so here is the new occult sim we have add a werewolf to the family wow that was terrifying honestly um <laughs> Okay, so this is what they look like, what this random werewolf looks like, right? Um, and so this is her human form. You can link and unlink forms as you would any other form, right? And so you can obviously say what you want to link and what you want to unlink. Here we have, again, just all the same stuff you normally have. But we do also have these werewolf feet. They're your same feet. They're just... Now werewolf feet in this form, I guess. So you get all the same nails you normally do um, with the one choice of really black nails. Or you could do any other nail too. But I guess the point is that to do the black nails. And then you can choose the color and pattern of your werewolf. Just like you would if you had a sim, right? That you wanted to just choose what they had. So here you go. Here you go. You know what I actually saw, and I'm gonna need to look it up actually. I'm about to go check it out in like two seconds. But I saw somebody with like weird ears on their werewolf. Like they were like poking out. It was really weird actually. And why is there a Spider-Man patchwork werewolf? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Do you wanna talk about it? <laughs> okay, go to her ears because I saw something about ears and I know that sounds so random, but I noticed it and it bothered me and I needed to know if it was a real thing or if it was a mod. So we are now here. I'm going back to the color and patterns. We're going here. We have paint mode again, just like you can any other thing, right? You can paint on her, do what you want. I'm not doing all that, but yeah. If you have cats and dogs, you know how to do that. If you do not have cats and dogs, imagine how to do it. Um, And so you can again put clothes on them, right? You can choose their body just like you would for anything else. They come with the default tail. I don't think you can really change that aspect about them. Um, and then I don't actually, it doesn't like you can put tattoos on them, but you can do the body scars and stuff. So here's the ears. These are not the ears that I was talking about. The ears that I was talking about were like flappy. And so I'm assuming it was a mod that somebody found. But yeah, oh my gosh, that looks like a lynx. That looks like a lynx and I love it. Um, <laughs> So adorable. Look at the little doggy. Oh my god, I want to pet you. Um also this would get on my damn nerves. That that freaking howling, annoying. <laughs> um I would literally like yell at my child and be like, shut up. <laughs> and throw a shoe at them like they do in the movies to the cats uh outside. <laughs> okay, so we have cheek tufts. You can have no cheek tufts, lots of cheek tufts, whatever you want. Again. And I'm assuming that these are moldable, just like anything else, right? You have the moldable stuff. So you can make the head small, the head big. Um, you can figure out what you want to do with the cheeks. Like we said, cheek tufts. Noses, it comes with different noses. And again, comes with different types, just like it does with the thing. And I don't know if you can see it, but it actually goes around the eyes too, right? Teeth, I, as I was saying, I'm like, I know we got new teeth. So, okay, so these are not the new teeth. All the new teeth are these guys. So this one is actually missing a tooth, which is interesting. This one looks like it has overgrown fangs. This one just has straight fangs. This one has shorter fangs. I'm not gonna turn them to the... Okay, so you can actually see them better from the side. Like just the placement pretty much. There's different... Wow, that one. Um, I would be terrified if that bit me. Like I would just be like, nope, gotta chop my body off. <laughs> like gotta chop my arm off, gotta chop my leg off, gotta go. All right, chin tufts, so you get some of those. And then you also get, what are these? What actually were those, wait, accessories? Oh, we get we get accessories, hold up. So you could get a nose ring. Oh, so it's all the same stuff you already have in your game from like different packs, but is now for, oh, okay, so this one's actually different. These earrings are actually different. These came just with this newest pack, with the with the werewolf pack. But you also get these small ones, which I think are, oh, these also came with the werewolf pack. Huh, nice. 
And then let's see, is there anything else I'm missing? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Werewolves. Okay. So we got a new chain, it looks like, which I swore we already had this. And we got this new collar chain that I did see. I did see this online and I made a joke about furries and um not safe for work BDSM. Okay, so <laughs> I need to get off of here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, looks like we got a lot of new crap, right? Um Okay, now that I have checked out the werewolves, might be worth ten dollars. Still don't know if it's worth the twenty. Okay, now let's just let's let's go into build and buy, and then I'll talk about my final thoughts. How about that? Okay, so I just went through the lot traits and everything. We don't have any new lot venues. We do not get any new lot challenges or lot traits, which I'm kind of sad about because we do have down here on dark ley line, right? And then, which actually, you know what I just noticed, right? Eh, you know what? Nah, be quiet. Okay, so, <laughs> you know what I noticed though? Vampire Nexus, right? I feel like we need one of those for spellcasters and werewolves, at least, right? Like, how are they going to give us Vampire Nexus, but they don't give us that? I'm just saying. Like, I feel like there's some gaps in here at this very moment. I said that earlier. I forget what I said, but I was saying something about how, oh, it was the walk. I was saying, how do we have a vampire walk, but we don't get a werewolf walk? And I'm kind of sad about it. I don't know. All right. Well, let me see where this next stuff is going to go. So let's just check out some new things. We have this door right here. We have this door right here. We have this door that looked like it got attacked and also drawn on by a werewolf. And then we've got these guys. Okay. So these are, I guess, the fronts. And then this is the back. And so I'm going to show you guys them from this side where the better lighting is. So, ooh, I kinda like, this kinda looks like Little Red Riding Hood's door. And I swear if they did not make an homage to Little Red Riding Hood in one of those houses, I would be very disappointed. <laughs> okay, so we have lots of different doors. You see, you guys see these have scratches, right? <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. You see these have scratches. This one is the very same door, just with the wolf on it. And again, more scratches, more scratches very cool honestly and then again we have another door i actually really like this door i feel like this door would look very nice on an old house or like a uh, a refurbished house or even like one of those um one of the apartment buildings or something like that in the university pack world that i cannot think of the name of it right now but i feel like that would be very nice on that okay so let's see we got pillars boom boom we got two types of pillars okay so i just need to show you guys the color here but here are the different colors they're like rusted and everything it's fine it's cool and then here we have some new pillars like i said which honestly i always use the same few pillars because i'm just a nut and i need to like have everything be a certain way and whenever i try to make new pillars um i screw it up so i'd rather use the same one that i know is tried and true and just does not give me issues i'm uh somebody told me who was it hawkins simmer i think told me that we get new terrain so now i'm gonna go look for that but it's like in the base game they said actually yes rough river rock was one of the terrains i remember that i remember that from something that was posted and then i don't remember what the other one was rough rough blah, 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 rough I can't say it. Rough river terrain. Those were hard for a second. Okay, so then we have these guys. Ooh, that one looks nice. We have these guys and we have these guys. And this is what it looks like on the other side. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Just old school style. I, I really do like that, honestly. I don't know why I like it so much. It's very cool though, and I really do want somebody. You know, Hawk and Simmer. Can I, <laughs> can I interest you in building a university home or apartment or whatever with these new doors and windows that we got? Because like this is so cool, and I really do feel like it would look very nice in somebody's university house. I'm just saying. Like I'm over here commissioning her unofficially, but like also I don't know what I would give her for the commission. But I'm just so curious. Like be like. Listen, I'm just very curious what it will look like. So, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Next, we have these guys. So, 
you have this fence. Ooh, I kind of actually like that a lot. You have that fence and you've got this fence. That is interesting. Okay, so let's see. We have lots of, oh wait, no, I need to change it. I need to change it to this one. Okay, so we have that one. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, I like that. I really like that one. I think I might change my pen that's in my Sims current house. Maybe I'll change it to this. This kind of looks like a farm pen type of thing. I don't know. I feel like the animals might get away, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so you have some more of these, some like rusted type metal situations. I actually really like this though. I don't know why. Like especially that brown or like orangey one, very nice. Okay. And then we have, oh wow, okay, that's prison. <laughs> these are prison. <laughs> um, okay, what is this supposed to be? Like, I was gonna say, is it keeping something out or keeping something in? That's my question. And then we have this one and that one. Okay. And then we have obviously a gate or a door, whatever. So, oh, not what I meant to do. I wanted to change the color, just show you what that looks like. Okay. We get, oh, we get new stairs. New stairs are always nice. We get new ladders. Nope, just new stairs. Okay. We get new stairs. We get a new banister with the stairs, please. And thank you. Very nice. I love matching banisters. I was watching a, sh a, a YouTube short and somebody was complaining. It was like, it was like, builders hate this. And it was basically the stair banisters and how they clip in like the fencing when you put like a fence around it. And I was like, I'm not even a builder and that triggers me too. <laughs> like, I don't know why that, why that happens. I hate it. I actually hate it. It's like, why is this not seamless? Okay. So these are what these look like. They pretty much look like that fence that I just showed you, but it's just the stair banister, right? And then same thing with this. I'm surprised we didn't get a new chimney. I noticed that like chimneys and stuff never pop up whenever you like search for them. It's so hard to find them. See, roofing. It was not going to pop up if I didn't click it. <laughs> okay, so let me see if I can get um any type of roof. I don't really care which one. I just want to see the different types of roofs. So let's see that really quickly. Ooh, different colors. I kind of like that. And so like this one was a different color. Yeah, they're different on each side. Interesting. Okay. Let me move back a little bit. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's different. Kind of reminds me of like moss or something on your on your roof. And I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. Is that what's supposed to be? Yes, it is. Okay. Now what's the difference between this one and this one? Oh, this one. Wait, accidental skylight. Oh. Wait. Oh, that's very cool. I didn't even notice that. I noticed it was a different color, but I didn't know why. There's a skylight on this side. And on this one, it's the same exact roofing as the other one, but it just doesn't have the skylight. That's actually very nice. I, I, I'm kind of living for that. I'm kind of living for that. Oh, and it has the skylight on both sides. <gasps> that is so cool. I like that. It's like they've seen that uh, sim players like, like to add skylights into their game. And they're like, yeah, here you go. <laughs> Okay, so then we have more plants. curious Ooh, that's cool so what is this flooring rough and tumble tile huh so I'm guessing this is the floor tile that the werewolves and stuff spar on I kind of like this tile like if if these like broken pieces even if they were broken but they were just broken like kind of like the square right here where it's kind of even I would probably put this in like a kitchen or something or even a basement 
that black one. You could probably get away with that black one. That black one is very nice. But yeah, no, I really, I like, I really like the black one. I really like the black one, y'all. I want that in somebody's basement. Um, <laughs> okay. So it looks like we got four new rooms. I'm not going to look at the rooms yet because I want to look at the furniture items. So let me go look at the furniture items. Well, first, let me grab these two. <gasps> we got a new, did we get a new pea bush? Why did that make me so happy though? Why did that just make me so happy? Yes, I love new pea bushes. Makes me so happy. What is this? Oil drum trash can. Okay, so it's a new trash can. You can never go wrong with a new trash can. Listen, very cool. Okay. Um, honestly, I'm just happy about the pea bush. And I'm glad it's just all green. That makes me so happy. Because <laughs> it can match so much more now. Alright, so let's see how many items we have. Wow, we actually got a lot of items. Hold up. Okay, so let's see. Let's go through the beds first. <gasps> we got a new toddler bed. Toddler bed alert. We love that. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. So this is. these are basically the same two beds. Just one's a bunk bed, one is not. So it looks like the sheets and everything are going to be the same. This is what it looks like. Boom, boom, boom. I still have not used bunk beds in my game, and I really need to. I keep forgetting every time I make my Sims house. I'm just like, eh, just give them a king size bed. They'll be fine. Because that way they can grow into it, and I never have to switch the bed out. And they, like, and my Sims kids get such good sleep. So I can, like, have them sleep, like, four hours before school because they stay up so late. <laughs> And they have a full like uh, rest meter. Okay, so this is the one where I saw everybody was asking, are we getting tires? Are we getting cars? Ah. What does it say? Tired, no more seat. That's cute. Cushy leather chair with cup holders. Ooh. Do we? I wish we had that in like a not patchwork looking thing. That's very cool. Okay, now we get that one. And it looks like we got some couches. See, and even that couch, that couch is very nice. I wish that didn't have a... Ha, <laughs> that's cute. I'm liking you, love seat. That's very cute. Um, I wish that these didn't look so like grungy. Ugh. I I kind of want to put them in a house, but I don't want them to look grungy like that because it's gonna mess up the rest of the aesthetic. <laughs> this love seat i want to put this outside of somebody of like one of my sims houses like next to a tree or something i feel like that'd be very nice so after i'm done here i'm gonna go do some of my sims outfits over um put in some new things in their house and then i'm gonna save my game and finally upload the the same house that i've uploaded like twice already but i've been changing a few things about it because nobody told me in my last one that I, well, after I had remembered to put the chimney in, I had, like, put it off to the side of my house, and I never got to delete it. So the one that's up there that everybody keeps downloading is just has the stupid chimney in the side of the front lawn. <laughs> and I hate it, but I also don't want to take it off my gallery because it has so many downloads. <laughs> so I'm just going to download, I mean, upload another one. But, like, I keep not getting around to it, and I need to do that because I will not be able to be on my computer in like a week or two because I'm getting eye surgery so I'm not supposed to be on the computer which is going to be rough because that means I literally can't do anything I can't write I can't play games I can't do anything and I'm going to be bored why is there a, a, a freaking door on top of a what the hell even is this a file cabinet and a and a like fruit box <laughs> what is happening I mean ingenuity on point but why <laughs> like I actively hate it it just went through the junkyard and said, yep, and we got some nails, and there you go, here's a desk. Ooh, this one is very nice. I actually really like this one. This is very pretty. What is this? Worn secretary desk. It doesn't look worn at all. I love this. Why is this so fancy? I mean, you have the worn ones, but obviously you don't need that one, but ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. You don't understand. I was ready for a new telescope. <gasps> And it's actual telescope? Yes! I love that. So now you don't have to have that obnoxious telescope thing in your yard. Because <laughs> I had one of those in my game on like top of the little, it's like a little section on top of the roof of my Sims house. And I was just going to have them like have little picnics or whatever up there and like little sleepovers outside in the tent. And I had an obnoxiously large telescope up there. But now I can just put this outside. <laughs> 
Ooh, what is that? Yes. My Sim is about to play with that guitar. That is a very nice guitar. That is a gorgeous guitar. Oh my gosh. Yes, I love that. I love that. I love that. This is a very nice guitar. Oh, wow. Okay, that one blinded me. <laughs> I like this. And then we get, I was going to say, we get some new um, fighting stuff, some new exercise equipment, because I did see something about exercise equipment in one of those things that I read. Okay, so we get some new exercise equipment. Ooh, those are different. Is this supposed to be a vampire? I can't tell if that's a vampire or a werewolf, but either way, it looks like you're punching its face, so I'm assuming it's a, it's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. I'm waiting for the rivalries to start. Like, I can't. That one's kind of cool. I kind of like the pink one. I don't know why. And I don't like pink like that, but very nice color. Um, This one is a bar. Did that say no wolves? Oh, no peeing. That is funny. That's funny. And then we have what? A boss bus bar. The hell is this? Oh my God. This thing is huge. I'm living for this though. Wait. I wish this was like a portable thing. Is it a portable thing? I'm going to figure out if this is portable or not. Because if it is portable, I am throwing that in somebody's inventory. I don't even know who, but one of my sims will have this in their inventory to pull out whenever they want to go party somewhere. <laughs> Be like, hey, we got the van. <laughs> okay. All right. So here it is. Oh, wait. Each of these are different. I don't know if you saw it. So it looks like the sign. Oh, no, the sign. Oh, yeah, it does change. So it has like cat signs and different things like that very nice very nice very nice very nice what is this moonwood mill tunnel entrance okay so i'm guessing that's to the secret world that everybody was talking about and then what is this christopher's planter and then what is this junk filled bonfire okay the planters five what does that mean huh sunshine barrel planter all right, so here you go. Here's some new things. They're just burning the picture. They're like, yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that couch either. Yeah, we also don't need that tire. Oh my gosh, I'm so done. So here is some more stuff. And more. And the planner. Which actually, I kind of like these. Like... The pale ones look very nice. And I could see those outside on somebody's lawn or like their porch when they're watering them. That'd be very nice, actually. So I'm going to figure out where I can put half of this stuff because I don't know. I don't have space, but I'm going to find a spot. Okay, so here we have... I need to change the color of this um wall. So I'm going to put all the stuff on the wall that we have that we can go up here. What is this? Fury fueled nonconformity poster. I'm done. Okay. What's that one? Ooh, wait, what is that actually? What is this? Flawed masterpiece. So Celine stared at the masterpiece on the wall, tilting her head to make out the shredded artwork beneath. It wasn't the strokes beneath that fascinated her, but rather the content of the painting. What about the painting triggered the beast uh, within to attack? Well, I'm guessing that's the person in the picture and that they're mad they're a werewolf now. I don't know. Do I look like a psychologist? I mean, I have a mental health degree, but I'm not talking about that. Anyway, all right, here is the bad luck mirror. I did see this on Twitter. Everybody's like seven years of unlucky mirror or whatever it was. Lunar vibes wall hanging. Ooh, that's cool. <gasps> I love that. Okay, yes, I need to go. I need to now go redecorate my Sims house. I'm so mad. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad. I'm actually living for it, but like, ugh. Okay. So we have some new pictures. Oh, oh no, these are... <gasps> These are the, the, the vampires. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so we got, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, my, what is his name? What is his name from Harry Potter? The, the little owl. Oh my God, I can't think of it, but yes. <laughs> um, We have some claw marks, which it looks like it comes in different types of claw. I like that they did this. Like instead of making it a color, they, um, they like just showed you what it is. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. This one looks, oh, it's ripped wallpaper. Very nice. Okay, and then we have some other colors. A little closer. Okay, very nice, very nice. And then, what is that? I just saw like a sexy werewolf and I didn't know what I was looking at. <laughs> um, Men in Black, that's the vibe I'm getting from that one. 
this one. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Ooh, very cool. I like these. I don't know why I like those though. And then we have some more of this thing like we are not conforming. We are werewolves. We are one. This looks like anonymous and werewolves like made a pack together. I don't know what's happening. Ooh, very nice. Very cool. All right. And then we have our mirrors. Show you guys these. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And then this one. They truly just taped this mirror back together instead of just throwing it out. They could put that in the bonfire. I'm just saying. Okay, so then we have some. Boom. What is this? Old factory shutter. Huh. How many more of these do I have? I have about two and a half more rows. So we're almost there. We're almost there. Just stick with me a little longer, y'all. I'm going to fast forward so much of this stuff because the child, I'm tired of recording. So I know y'all probably tired of watching, but we're going to keep going. All right. We are almost there. We are almost there. Okay. So let's go through this last few bits. So here we have, looks like a trophy. What is this trophy for? Mooncaster Memento. Okay, so it says this antique metal piece has a delicately engraved uh, plate attached to its base, which reads as powerful emissary, oh my god, as powerful emissaries, wow, I said emissaries, I was thinking emissions, but that's not the word, as powerful emissaries of the moon, we have a duty to serve, not just as those with fur and fangs, but all who bask in the night's gentle light, we are sims first and foremost, not be not beast, um, we must exercise control over our duality and foster a more inclusive community. Maria Volkov, founding leader of the Moonwood Collective and original Mooncaster. For a new bookcase actually and i kind of like how flat this one is that's very nice um rack teak uh wait what <laughs> rat teak shelves rat teak what rat teak great shelves i was saying did we get a new mailbox i don't even know how i thought of that but when we saw so we got a new trash can i've had a feeling we got a new mailbox so wow um what does it say moonlit fable wall clock huh that's kind of cool and the worn factory lighting. So we get a new light. Okay. Very nice. And then here's what the clock looks like as well. And it looks, oh, we got a mini one of those rugs. So I already showed you guys the bigger version. Or actually, no, I showed you guys the worn out version. This is the nice version that has not been worn to hell and back. <laughs> um... Here we have some more chests, which I actually am living for these chests. These are very nice. And then we have the mailbox. Boom, 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 boom. Kind of like, not the, I don't like the black so much, but I like, it was one that looked kind of clean. Where was it? Eh, maybe it was in my imagination. I don't know. But it was. it looked nice regardless. Okay, so here is more bookshelves, bookshelves, bookshelves. Very nice again. And then some more. Okay, and then what is this? Factory rubble. So we got some factory rubble, just basically clutter. Seventh Confectioner's Calamity Firewood Rack. Oh, I actually like how it's a firewood rack, finally, because we're all using that same one rack. Good Lord. Um, This goes on the wall. Is this a... <gasps> Yay, we got one! We got a baby carriage for the little werewolf babies. So cute. And then we have wolf in sheep's clothing is that what it said or did i just make that up 
oh, sheet and sheep's clothing. That's cute. And then, um, what does it say? Henry chomps a lot, Jr. Oh, it's a little werewolf doll. Night, night, moonlight lamp. Very nice. And then we have graceful moon petal lamp. And whatever this stitch lamp is, <laughs> patchy the lamp. Very cute. Okay, so let me go through all the last little bits that I just showed you guys. So we have the wood. Very nice. We have some trash. And then we have just this little bit of stuff over here that I should, wanted to show you. So we have this guy. What is, what is actually on here? It just says relic display. Huh. I feel like you can put something inside of that glass thing. Let me read it. Just scavenge up a little piece of local history. Fish, fish to priceless relic out of a glowing magical moon lake. Wait, what? <laughs> While well, you're in luck, this is the spot for your little wolfy uh, tchotchkes. As your collection grows, you'll notice that certain relics seem to fit extra well in certain spots. Perhaps they have a larger story to tell. It may come to you in Epiphany. Okay, so I do know that they said that there is a way to get to another town or whatever through that portal thing. Basically to the moon lake that he was talking about or that they said in the thing. So yeah, we have lots of different cute little baby beds. Adorable. Adorable. I can't. Oh, I love it. Okay. And then you have another lamp here. And then this moon lamp, which is adorable. I can't. Oh, so cute. And then the sheep comes in different colors. And then the little wolf comes in different colors. And then the patchy lamp comes in a few different colors. And that is all. Oh, actually, no, before I leave, because I almost forgot, before I leave, I'm going to show you guys these little rooms. So we have the Rebel Wolf's Hangout, okay? The Rebel Wolf's Hangout comes in a few different colors. All right, so I'm going to show you guys this one. And then we have Luna Boho Den. So this is the Lun Lunar Boho Den. If I could speak, that'd be great. <laughs> and then we have Abandoned Werewolf Study which is, again, what it sounds like, right? So I'm going to buy that one. And then the very last one is Moon Gazer's Garden. Comes in a few different colors. This is actually very nice. I kind of really like this one. And what type of tree is this? I'm just curious. Ornamental magnolia tree. Huh, okay. So let's go down so we can I can show you guys these. Very nice. Very nice again. Okay. And yeah, this is all for build and buy. So I have my thoughts. Um, I will do those in a voiceover in like two seconds. All right, so my final thoughts on the pack. It is a new day, by the way. So I'm doing this voiceover completely separate. After I have watched the video back in editing, do I think the pack was worth $21.71? As of right now, without gameplay, no. I think that it could have been a $5 pack for the clothing and a $5 pack for the build and buy together, $10 pack, whatever. Don't care about that. I need to check out the um, gameplay because as of right now, I'm not impressed. Now, that does not mean that uh, what I like, you will like. You might love this pack, okay? But we are all entitled to our own opinions. And in my humble personal opinion, this game pack with the Kaz and the build and buy is not speaking to me at the moment. However, I do like the way the world looks and I am interested by the Sims that came with the world's backstory. So that's why I think if I play the gameplay, it'll shine, but I will keep you all updated. Um, do I suggest getting this pack? Hey, if it's your type of thing, you like this 80s grunge look, you like your, your build and buy stuff being torn up and your clothes being ripped to shreds, go ahead and get it. If that's not your vibe, hey, do what you want. I'm not going to say get it or don't, but I'm just going to say for me, as of right now, I kind of want $10 of my money back. But <laughs> I will get back to y'all soon. Anyway, that is my humble opinion. You don't have to agree with it. That's fine. Leave below. Did you um, buy the pack? Are you going to buy the pack? If you have the pack already, what do you think of it? 
just let me know what you guys are thinking and I will be back with my ideas of how I feel after gameplay okay anyway that's all I have for you guys check me out on Twitter it is in my description below and on origin if you want to download anything off of my sims 4 gallery and just uh, subscribe if you would like to subscribe and see how I feel about the gameplay coming up, all right? And I will see you all in the next one. It's your girl, Tony Time, and I'm out. Oh, and Sim School Sleep Repeat. Wow, okay, I forgot my outro. Oh, my gosh, Lord. Anyway, okay, now bye. <laughs>